So let's take a look at in-place versus blue-green deployment here. Uh, and these terms are confusing because they're not definitive in definition and the context can change the scope of what they mean. So it's important to learn these not just for Elastic Beanstalk, but for DevOps in general. So we're going to spend a little bit of time here making sure you really know this stuff inside and out. So Elastic Beanstalk by default performs in-place updates. Uh, and that's all the, the deployment policies we've been looking at. They've all been considered in place. But let's change the context to see how that affects the scope, which will change what is considered in place. So the first we're going to look at, which we're already familiar with, is with the Elastic Beanstalk environment. So when that is our, our scope, that means that all the policies we saw prior, all at once, rolling, rolling with additional batch and immutable, are considered uh, in place deployment methodologies. So let's say we change the scope to um, outside of Elastic Beanstalk, and now it's just servers. So we have these servers, um, but what's really important is that these servers are never replaced. So they always have to be the same servers, the existing servers. So that's our scope. Uh, and now the only uh, uh, deployment methodologies that are available to us is all at once are rolling, which are considered in place because they never replace a server. They'll take a server out of service, make changes and put it back into service. Now, that doesn't mean that rolling with additional batch and immutable would be considered blue-green. Uh, they just wouldn't be considered in place for the scope of that scenario. Let's set up another one where the scope is now we have a server that can never be uh, interrupted. So it doesn't mean that like that means we can't replace the server with a new server, but that also means we can't take it out of service. So it should never uh, lose traffic. Uh, it should always be um, traffic should always be pointed to it. And so to solve this, we'd use zero downtime uh, deploys. Uh, this is where blue green occurs on the actual server itself, like in a, in a virtual sense where you um, you have your code base and then you deploy the second version of the code base on the server and then you facilitate the change, the switch within the server virtually. Uh, and you can't do this on Elastic Beanstalk. Um, I used to do this for years with Capistrano, Ruby on Rails and Unicorn. Uh, and this allows for deploys that happen within minutes. So I like in 30 seconds or one minute, I'd have the latest version updated. It was amazing. But when we have to consider all these cloud components, um, you know, this this kind of agility is it has been lost. Um, but we get other kind of trade offs to it. So, um, you know, that's the stuff that we're looking at. But when we're talking about the exams itself and they're talking about in place, they're gonna be talking about generally in the context of Elastic Beanstalk environment. So I just want you to know the, the different uh, the differences of this, but for the exam, this is the one you're gonna focus on uh, for in place, okay?